The first time I got to spend time at campus at William & Mary, we walked onto campus and I just fell in love. There were certain features that reminded me of Sydney University. I was just like, wow, this feels like home. Growing up in Australia, I started playing hockey when I was five years of age. Part of our culture of developing players and officials is that when you get to a certain age in Australia, you have to umpire and you have to coach. So I've literally been coaching since the age of 14. When I first came to William and Mary Field Hockey, we talk about making the best of our opportunities and I said, well, if you give me a lot of leeway and we can bring up our basic standard and talk about different systems, I think we could be quite competitive. We were growing with our personalities, we were growing what a team really meant. It was more about the growth off the field when I came here, you know, we started getting locker rooms in Kaplan. Bush Field had just been built. So we started getting this pride that this is our home. Somebody made a donation and we actually could go into a weight room that had weights that females could lift. So now we could actually train like we were elite athlete. With this new Pride Field Hockey Centre, our girls take a lot of pride in it. When you put 28 women together, if it truly is a family and if you have an argument, no matter what, you love them and you have to forgive each other. And I think from day one, that has always been a big part of William and Mary Athletics for me, that we are family, we work hard together we fight hard together, um, especially when it's game day. I can lead in and then that big ball will still hit that girl, but I think there's two different situations. Go! Do it! You know, when my players walk onto the field, I want them to truly believe that we can beat the number one in the country. But the, the recruiting part is the biggest factor in the world that we live in right now. Like scholarship money is huge. For us to stay very competitive, without it, I think we miss the opportunity of recruiting some amazing people. For us to compete at a division one level, to win championships, it takes getting the right coaches, recruiting the right players, but also giving us the facilities. It just opened up the world for us to become better athletes and better coaches. Anywhere below the 30, they'll throw it back and they'll smash it. Tribe Club Athletic Endowment Fund has been a huge part of my development at William and Mary, but also the field hockey development. Because when I first came to William & Mary, I had to get a part-time job to help support what I was doing at William & Mary. As the program started to grow, people saw the benefit of full-time coaches. And the only way that was happening was by people donating money. The biggest reason I would say why give to women's sport is my journey here would never have happened if somebody hadn't supported me as a five-year-old to go play several sports and then figure out what I was good at. The more females that we support, the stronger human beings that we are creating to go out into many different communities. There are a lot of young girls out there who don't have role models. And I just think it's really cool that when a little 11-year-old shows up and says, I want to be number 16.